Do plants speak to each other? Yes. They do. And apparently, they scream too. But not in ways we know. After all, plants belong to another life form. If you have a yard, try to cut grass. You will notice certain scents. They're actually a blend of chemicals being emitted. To humans, they may be pleasant. But to plants, it signals danger on the way. Recent research shows that the two most important plant communication methods are chemicals and sound. They produce volatile organic compounds and release them as gases that readily diffuse through the air, away from the plant that produces them. Some of the examples are methyl jasminate and methyl salicylate, which are produced and released by plants that are under attack. Plants release volatile organic compounds into the air to alert their neighbors to threats, and the neighboring plants respond to these signals by preparing to defend themselves even before they are attacked. For example, within seconds, plants that detect volatile organic compounds will start making antifungal compounds or anti-insect toxins to protect themselves. The sound signals used by plants tend to be at a frequency that cannot be heard by the human ear but they can be picked up by other plants and animals. The bottom line is that plants are in fact great communicators. They are releasing plenty of beneficial information into the environment, mostly using chemicals and sounds. We are only just beginning to recognize how this information is produced and how it is then picked up by other plants and animals who can use it for their own benefit. So, the next time you tread on some grass or pick a flower, Remember that the poor injured plant might be screaming out to its neighbors, but we humans just cannot hear it.